When we surveyed our agents, it was no surprise that one of the largest draws that brought them over to Accolade was our Lost Runner tool. Additionally, this was one of the biggest items that saved them time in the office. Now today, I'm going to take you through how to use our Lost Runner tool. The first thing that I would like to point out is that if you had completed prior insured information on your Accord, it's going to show here. Uh, in this case, you'll see mine is listed as Agora West. Now, if you don't complete your Accord forms this way, that's absolutely fine. You can certainly edit it by clicking on Edit Insurance History here, entering all of the information that it's requesting, and then hitting Save. Now, I do have demo loss runs I'll upload for the submission in just a moment, but first I'm going to go ahead and pretend that I don't so that we can review our loss runner tool. Loss runner essentially allows you as the agent to request loss runs on behalf of your insured in a couple different ways, depending on your insured situation. To launch loss runner, we'll go ahead and we'll click on the icon that looks like a closed envelope with a blue arrow. Loss runner is going to launch with the default request type being letter of authorization. This is the most commonly, recused, sorry, most commonly used request type in the system, and it does require an insured signature. But if you find that this doesn't fit, you can also hit the drop down and select from broker of record letter, agency loss run request letter, or an insured loss run request. You're not stuck with the default. However, for example, today, I am going to go ahead and stay with letter of authorization. Starting at the top, Appulate is going to populate your insured's information, followed by the market which you're requesting loss runs from, including an editable destination. And here I do like to point out, if you have a better fax number or email than the one that's listed, by all means, go ahead and hit that pencil and then edit that destination. And then it's going to be followed by our policy number and the numbers as they apply to that market and you're insured. It concludes with the body of the letter itself, which will provide the market with the return destination being yourself as the agent, and then finally your insured's information. I do like to point out at the bottom that you can also edit this follow-up option to any number of days that you'd like. It defaults to 90, but you can certainly change that. Now, since this needs an, insert, an insured signature, we're going to go ahead and send them a mobile-friendly link to sign. Once that's signed, the signed request, including the audit trail that proves the validity of that digital signature, is going to be provided and sent to that market destination you confirmed earlier in the letter. Appulate will track and timestamp all actions related to Lost Runner, with the exception of when Lost Runner returns by the market. Most often, those get sent back to your personal email. So once you receive those in your email, go ahead and save them. And then whenever you log back into Appulate, please upload them into the system by clicking on the paperclip icon located to the right of the Lost Runner tool. This will then timestamp and upload who uh, put those Lost Runs in and when they completed the action. Our Lost Runner tool is nice and easy to use and it will save you lots of time.